What if you took French onion soup and turned it into a chicken dish? What would you have? You'd have what we're making. It's gonna be crazy good. Before we get too far into anything here today, if you're liking what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, become part of the, the, the what? The family, the group, the channel, that's it. The little notification bell, when you bang on that thing, that will put our new episodes right into your email. And I think, uh, I think that's the way to go, right? Then you're truly part of Team Chance. Chance Nation. Chance Nation. We're fighting about the name. Episode just started. What are we like, 12 seconds in? Max and I are fighting about the name. I want to call this French onion soup chicken. Which makes no sense. What makes no sense? French onion soup chicken? French onion soup chicken. Max wants to call it. Can I get some of that soup chicken, please? What do you want to call it? Just say it. I'll have the soup chicken. What do you want to call it? It's a French onion chicken skillet. French onion chicken skillet. You see, I think when you say French onion soup chicken, you got everything you need to know right there. Ah, they're making French onion soup, sort of, but then they're turning it into a baked no. chicken dish okay. that's going to be delicious. There's going to be lots of onions caramelized deeply and chicken broth and some sherry, and the, there's going to be melty Gruyere cheese on top. The whole thing will be fabulous. French onion Why is the Why are we even descriptor. listening to him? French doesn't onion really is matter. the descriptor. He's going to sit there and he's just going to talk, blah, 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 blah. Here's how this goes. We brown some chicken. We dump we, soup all over chicken. Man, we brown some chicken. We take the chicken out. We caramelize onions deeply. We add a bunch of other junk. The chicken goes back in. It goes into the oven. Comes out. We throw some Gruyere cheese on top. It goes back in. It comes out, and boom! It's freaking delicious. Is it freaking delicious? One pan. Sort one of? pan. Oh, there you go. One pan chicken skillet, French onion, blah, whatever. Can we just start with the chicken, please? Here's what we've got: four chicken breasts, a little avocado oil, and then we season. And we're gonna use. Salt and pepper, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And for a little extra color and flavor, a little smoked paprika. I mean, look, I think if you're gonna buy paprika, you might as well buy smoke, because it's just better. And then you're only keeping one paprika and you don't need that much, okay? It's good, flip these guys over, do the same on the other side. And these are gonna be browned in the pan, finished in all the onions and the broth in the oven, so the thickness doesn't matter. We don't need to pound these thin. In fact, we don't want to. We want big, beautiful, luxurious chicken pieces. I was gonna say something else and then Max was gonna say something and it would have offended people and so I chose not to. I try not to give him a lead in anymore. A little of the smoked paprika on this side. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's go to the pan. So in we go, we'll go the smooth side down. Lovely. You know what I say? The first side down in the pan is the presentation side. So this is the back, this is the top. You put the presentation side, the side that will be facing up in first, because that's when the pan or the pot or whatever is at its hottest and cleanest and will give you the best looking sear. All right, so first side is there and that's what you want. A little color, gorgeous. Gorgeous, okay. So what was it with like, what did I just say? <laughs> oh like. So we're gonna go like three three minutes aside. Perfect, let this gorgeous color happen. And then it's the onion part of the French onion. And when your second side is as gorgeous as the first, out they come. Look at that fawn. We're gonna add a little bit more oil to the pan. We're gonna add some butter to the pan. And I know that looks like a lot, but it won't be when you see the two pounds of onions that I will now add, that will look like this. Looks like too much? It's good to me. Thank you, Chance. Max, feel free to contribute anytime you want. I'm happy with it. So now this might be the most important step in this entire dish. More important than searing the chicken, more important than cooking the chicken. What makes French onion soup are deeply caramelized onions. And that's what's gonna happen here over the next, oh, 30 minutes or so. Don't rush it. Don't crank the heat to high. Stir it around every so often and just let them soften, caramelize, and become gorgeous. And with the onions looking gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's just time, ladies and gentlemen, it's just time. 
Let's go in with a little garlic. You know me, a little shot of oil, a couple of big fat cloves. All right, well, let's switch from this guy who's done a good job for us, but now we need something else. Mix the garlic in. Mmm. So nice to smell that delicious garlicness. This gets worked a little bit. Then I'm gonna fling in about a tablespoon of thyme leaves, just picked, as they say. Give that a second to start to perfume. Make sure you fling them, that's very important. It's a technical term, I can't expect you guys to understand that. And another thing I like to add, goes in uh, French onion soup always for me, is some dry cooking sherry. A couple tablespoons, let that just start to work its way in there beautifully. Mmm, the smell. Give that a couple minutes just to sort of sink in. Some will evaporate, some will soak into the onions. You just, there's like a tablespoon left, I might as well use it. Right, Chance? Right. That's what Chance would want me to do. So we've not seasoned this yet. The uh, chicken's got some seasoning on it, but we haven't seasoned our onions and we should do that. And we'll do that simply with some salt and pepper, like that. Mix that through. And now it's starting to bubble a little bit, what's still here. Now to help thicken this, as it uh, cooks away, we're gonna give it some flour. Maybe a couple tablespoons. Like that, mix that in. Yes, it makes everything much drier than it was, but that's the point. And then we let this cook in for a couple of minutes to get rid of the raw flour taste, as they say. That's a dab. <laughs> it's a dab. Took me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Next in, two cups of beef broth. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Just stir so everybody gets to know each other. We're all happy. Gorgeous. Or as we say in France, gorgerie. Gorgerie which I don't actually think is accurate, but sounds pretty French, doesn't it? Or as they say in Canada, gorgeous, eh? <laughs> gorgeous, eh? And now this is gonna come to a little simmer. This is the time we want to take our chicken and nestle it into this gorgeous onion bath. Oh, hello, buddy. Who wouldn't want to be nestled into a gorgeous onion bath? I would. Greg Rempe. Ah, you're right. <laughs> Chance. Nice one. Really nice. This, and then what do you do with this leftover liquid from the chicken? Toss it in. Of course. There's magic right there. And just as it starts to bubble a little bit, just as it starts to get a little bit exciting. Fantastic. Just as we're thinking I could watch this all day long, we put the lid on. And goodbye. Off we go to a 350 degree oven. What'd you do? I forgot the soy. And oh, you know, I now. look, I use the soy. It's French onion soup. It's not Asian onion soup. But I like the soy because it gives just that little umami kick and makes everything better. And I couldn't find my straight liquid soy. So I've got my soy paste. So I'm just going to give it about a tablespoon of this. Oh, I love this stuff and just drizzle it and mix it in. Honestly, it's just gonna make everything better. I'm sorry I forgot, but I'm not very bright. And part of me thinks I asked Chance to remind me of this, and I don't know where the hell his head is, yeah, but it... Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there. When I put the broth in, I would have put in a little bit of soy. Oh yeah. Makes everything better. Let's go. 20, 25 minutes. It's 350. I don't know what your 350 is, and my 350 is actually more like 340. Using an instant read thermometer, when the chicken hits 160, boom, you're there. Uh, well, there in the sense that then it's done that part, then we're gonna add some cheese to it, throw it back in with no lid to get gorgeous. Then we come out, then we're, we're there, I think, unless I forget something. Very good chance. Very good chance, but right now I'm feeling good. Right chance? Right. So good chance. chance. We're all feeling good. And here we are. All right, you ready? Ready. Remember, it's not done yet, but it's, boom, it's that far. Oh, hey now. Hot damn. Is that, oh, the, can you, the 
onion just wafts up. Okay, one thing to do and that is put some Swiss cheese on top. So I think if I fold these guys and sort of do a double, I don't want to go insane with cheese, but that looks like it's going to be perfect, huh? Perfect. Come on, fold a little better, you. Oh boy, am I going to like this. So now, this is simple. At this point, we're doing one thing. Putting this under the broiler, not close. I don't want the cheese to burn, but I just want it to melt gorgeously. Under the broiler, two, three minutes till it's gorgeous, and I'm back. But this time, holy shit, and here they are. What? Look at that gorgeousness. And because there's time in it, of course, we just give it a little tiny bit of time on top. There you go. Is that pretty as a picture? <laughs> Don't drop it. Or what? And now the one thing that we always get to do, the one thing we always want to do, this is called have a bite. So let's get one of our friends out here. And I kind of like the look of this guy. Oh, do you just have any sense of what's going on here? Uh oh, I almost dropped him. Come on, you come off. If I just give myself just a little bit more onion because because I'm gonna want that in our bite. And now, because I don't have a fork with me, I guess I'll use my spoon to get a bite. So let's come right here. Beautiful. A little bit of this. Oh, um, yep. Some of this. I'm gonna do this so I can get some cheese. Then I have a fork to keep it steady. Oh, gorgeous chicken. Thank you, gorgeous chicken. And this. And now here's my bite. That kid. Rattler. You know what it is? It's French onion soup on chicken without the bread. Actually a healthier, holy shit, ridiculously delicious version. Oh my God, you just want this. It's unctuous, it's tender. Mm. It's perfumed perfectly. And when you get a bite with this extra sauce and the drippy and the whole thing. You're going to be very happy. It's everything you love about French onion soup on chicken. It's a whole meal. People have been asking us to do like a meal thing like this. Not just like a burger or taco, which by the way are meals too, but something more substantial. Oh my gosh, do this. Cook it no more than 160 because then you'll, uh, it'll rise still a little bit when it's under the broiler and the cheese is melting. But, oh, as my nephew Mark would say, oh, holy shnikes. This is something for the books. You gotta do this. All right, thanks for hanging, being with us, uh, participating, being part of our food life because I don't want it to sound corny, but we want to help you improve your food life. Don't we, boys? Yeah. Yeah, we do. All right, see you guys.